And that's where the story begins and where this book begins. Because um, we got married, but I did not tell her, and it was a scumbag mood, and I admit that. Um, I did not tell her that I had not filed my taxes in over eight years and was in trouble with the IRS um, and the state of California and owed thousands upon thousands of dollars in, um, in taxes. Yet I had married her. How'd that make you feel, Liz? <laughs> uh, well, for a girl who was pretty much, as soon as I got my, um, my tax documents, I was like making my appointment with my tax preparer, ready to go. I mean, I was like on the clock all the time. <laughs> so for me, um, yeah, when you kind of dropped that bomb on me, it was, uh, it was scary. It was right. really, really scary. And um, for those of you guys that are watching this, it might be in a similar um, um, a similar situation where your spouse um, or your significant other, maybe you're not even married, um, but your significant, significant other has tax problems and you, marry, and, and, and you marry that person, you've basically married into that tax problem. Um, a lot of people don't, do not realize once you get married and once you start filing joint returns, or even if you don't file joint returns, even if you get joint bank accounts and you have an individual that owes taxes, um, they can actually take those individuals' taxes, even though it's not their tax problem.